Saltail Slim that I wanted to show you guys here. This bike was basically brought in here, stock. Uh, it was given over to Mike. Um, the customer said, listen, this is the look that I want. We're gonna give you the reins and just the freedom to do whatever you want with it. Um, and here are some ideas. So you took it upon yourself, you bought a bunch of stuff, you bought it up to him, and he just said, run with it wild. Yeah, pretty much a 2019 Slim came in with black denim, white wool tires, and real narrow, uh, 14 inch bars. Customer came in, said I want a blacked out bike, I want to change the paint, I want a gloss black, and I want the whole thing black from front to back, and that's it. Whatever parts I chose, it was up to me. The only thing he asked for was a chop fender, so, and that's what we were able to deliver. This bike wasn't all black before, so it, like you said, everything got uh, powder coated. Paint does look really good. So as you can see here, um, as the paint goes on, that the tank painted as well, because this bike did come in matte, like he was mentioning. Uh, but you got that low rider S type of logo on the tank. Everything's blacked out. It looks super, super killer, man. Um, it had white, uh, white wall tires on it before. So I'll show you a, a before picture of what the bike looked like before, so you can see the the big difference. But a ton of stuff that were added to here. We saw with the top end. You said that these were Chromeworks 14 inch bars. So yeah, these are Chromeworks 14 inch bars. Um, we blacked out the levers. We we went actually we went with the Harley Dominion collection on this entire bike. So grips, uh, fork caps, axle covers, Boards. floorboard, shifter, brake, everything's all from the Harley Dominion collection. The Dominion collection, like but when it comes to the floorboards, are really really nice. So if if you are familiar with the uh, Arlen S floorboards, they're very similar to it. But these are super super sick. Like they actually look really nice in, in person. Um, so yeah, we got rid of the black, uh, I mean not the black, the, the white wall tires that were on here. Uh, the wheels, were those powder coated or they came like that? So they're powder coated, uh, they do come black with silver spoke, but he just wanted them all black. All right, sure. uh, and we actually threw a, uh, that's a, that is a Street Glide ST fender on the front. So it hugs the wheel really well, it looks, it looks really nice. I'll give you guys a, a nice little clip of that right now, but yeah, the ST fender is, is Amazing. I put that SD fender on my Road Glide as well, and it just, it, it's a sick fender. It's super chopped, smaller, uh, gives you a nice visual of the bike as well. Especially for you guys who have bigger wheels on them, um, it just exposes everything really nice. Um, the seat is really nice. Are you told me the seat was custom as well? Yeah, so this is actually, we took the stock seat and we marked up the, we took the cover off, marked up the foam, bringing it to our uh, poultry guy. They are Fish Brothers Upholstery. They're, local guys? They're, yeah, they're in Rockland County. So they went and recovered the seat for us. And actually, if you know, this, the slim seat's kind of flat. Yeah. So I had them scoop out a little bit here to give us a little bit of back support on it. Nice. So they did a great job. Uh, really quick turnaround. So um, we're and, very happy with it. And they're probably like one of my favorite parts on the bike, which is that rear fender. Yeah, the rear fender. This is a fender from a company called Killer Customs. They're in Europe. Everybody in Europe's kind of doing this thing with the Harley and the look. They love chop fenders. Over yeah, there, yeah. Like. And uh, so we were able to get this fender. Um, it has an integrated tail light in it. And then we mounted the Custom Dynamics little bullets in the side for the turn signals. Th those things are so tiny, but let me tell you right now, when he turned them on, like the flash is so bright and they're very, very visible. So for you guys who are wondering, well, you know, they might be too small. If you want to be seen out there, you will definitely be seen. Um, the the brake light, not so much. I'm not gonna say about that, but the, the custom dynamic turn signals definitely do the job. Cleans the bike up real nice, and lights up real good. Um, nice little little addition. Um, there you got the what? Uh, you got Bassani two and two. Got the Bassani two and the two the turnouts on here. Um, just wanted to give it a little bit of the, a long stretch look. It came in with uh, big radius pipes, but every bike in the world's got big radius pipes on. Yeah. So, give it a little bit different look. It looks sick, man. Yeah, and they, they do sound good. Cause we, then, even while we had the whole motor apart, because everything in the motor was, was silver and we had it powder coated, I, I wound up just throwing a 475 SNS kit in it. You, so don't, you, don't, you know what my next question is going to be, right? What? What? What's the numbers?
right, so we did get actually pretty good numbers out of it. Um, this bike is coming out at 103 horsepower and 109 foot-pounds of torque. Right, not much. Pretty bad. Pretty bad looking bike right here, man. I, I really like the way this bike came out. Really, really, really nice. I just rode it for the first initial test ride. It's fast. Yeah. It's fast. It really is because it's such a light bike. Yeah. You know? And we're getting some numbers out of this like we are in some of the touring bikes. It's fast. Pretty sick. Came out great, man. Good stuff. Um, guys, if, if you are interested in in getting a bike done and you, you don't really have a concrete idea, just stop by the shop, uh, bring it on to Mike. I mean, these guys are full of ideas uh, for all type of bikes and uh, get your next build done over here. And over here. To see the bike in Daytona, hit us up, let us know. Right, because uh, the customer's gonna be taking the, the bike down to Daytona, right? Yep, he's leaving uh, today, and or today or tomorrow, and then he'll be down, he'll be down there for the next week, riding around on this. Nice. I think the next step would be maybe rotors. Uh, yeah. If anything. Yeah, we had a very tight window rotors on here. We had a tight timeline. We had about 14 days to build this bike. Yeah, this is great. Um, I'm five seven guys. I'm able to flat foot this bike. It feels great. It feels light, like he says. It is a soft tail, so you're looking at around a 550 pound bike or so. Um, if not even lighter now. Um, but it's definitely badass, man. The bar is so comfortable too. Like for me, that, that they feel really good. I, me personally, I wouldn't go any higher than this. They're, for me personally, they're a little high. When I turned on the test drive, it was a little high for me, but they're also pushed forward a little bit too, I'm sure. So. Yeah, awesome. Oh. Uh.